can do for right now. Let's go to the pub. Hey, you in the dragon suit! Are you from Rotten Jimmy's Employment Agency? <laughs> uh, me? J uh, J Jimmy Rotten's? Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, I told Jimmy I needed some costume help to walk the street and drum up business. <laughs> What's so great about drinking juice? Are you kidding? Look at moi! I'm so juiced up I can read in the dark, tell identical twins apart by the smell of their shoelaces, and hear a caterpillar scratching its armpits from 50 yards. <laughs> How much does the job pay? No, not much to start, but in three months, if you haven't been mortally wounded by an angry customer, I'll consider a raise. Are there benefits? Hmm. <laughs> For medical, there's a barrel of leeches in the back, and dental, there's a pair of pliers under the bar. <laughs> Are you the owner of this establishment? Sir Juicelot, at your service, formerly of Sir George's Royal Guard. <laughs> Why did you leave the Royal Guard? Well, Sir George claimed my insistent chattering was annoying, and if I didn't stop, he was going to stretch my tongue out, wrap it around my head, and spin me like a top. <laughs> so, what happened? Foot you never ask. After I stopped spinning, I left the guard and opened this place. The only good dragon is a dead dragon juice pub. <laughs> That's quite a name. I'd hate to see your bowling shirts. <laughs> Tell me more about the pub. Okay, we serve every type of juice here. <gasps> We've got orange, apple, pear, nectarine, kiwi, grapefruit, tangerine, mango, carrot, guava, prune, peach, kumquat, and of course, carrot. You said carrot twice. I like carrot. Cut me and I bleed beta carotene. <laughs> I'll accept the job. Well, get out and find some thirsty customers then. out here is this guy. I was wondering if you were thirsty and wanted to... Back off, lad. I am not thirsty. In fact, I have been so busy working it has been a week since I've eaten. Hmm. Well, we got a couple crackers here. I'll give them those. Would you like a cracker? What I would really like is a steaming bowl of dragon tail soup with big chunks of meat floating in it. Perhaps crackers might do. Oh, yummy! Mm -hmm. These are salty dick crackers, are they not? Just one bite, and I find I am thirsty enough to drink an ocean. Again, they say salty dip. Salty dip. I know it sounds like something totally different. Perhaps it was intentional? I don't know. Ooh, things are really hopping now. We're starting to get a crowd. Help me out back here and take care of those monks. They love the prune juice special. <laughs> Smart of the bartender to have the monk's prune juice pre-squeezed. A nice enough fellow, he needs to relax a little. Big guy, small brain, and he does seem to enjoy his funny pages. I regret that I cannot turn water into prune juice. This must be for the entertainment. They're my most devoted customers. Keep their glasses full. Dragons won't eat prunes, but I'm sure I'll find someone who does. Wow! Ew, loose in the sphincters! Oh, to ply sanctum! <laughs> Level, level. Level, level. Wow! Ew, 
you loosen the sphincters? Oh, to ply sanctum. Okay, enough of that. Hello, how are you? Splendid. Oh, I can't thank you enough for dragging me in here. <laughs> Get it? Dragon. Aren't you a bit overdressed? I was thinking the very same thing. With heavy clothing, it is difficult to do the most important thing in my new game. What? Swing at the ball? Slide into home? No, scratch yourself. I am thinking that the players will do much scratching and spitting as well. <laughs> you could improve your bat design. I can't make it any flatter. It's hard enough to swing as it is. How about something rounded and tapered with less wind resistance? Oh, I would be most interested in trying a bat such as that. Go over and serve those guys. No, I refuse. Go away, little man in silly costume, or I kill you. There you go, putting up walls around your emotions. Tell me what you really feel. When I look down deep inside my most private self, yeah, I really want to kill you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I feel we've made some real progress. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Those are mine. I regret that I cannot turn water into prune juice. What's the big deal? When I was baby brute, my sweet old granny read me funny papers when she was out on parole. Okay, I'll make it a point to stay one, no, two steps away from them. Two step? Why don't I just shuffle out of here? Hustle on out. Shuffle? Hustle? Those are dancing words. You want funny papers? Dance me for them on stage, girly dragon. Here we go. Okay, silly man in the dragon suit. Let us see if you can boogie with the big boys. Okay, I'm ready. Not bad for the easy-peasy little beginning. Now for round two. You are one lucky cookie. Try to dance your way through this if you can. your daughters, because I am the new dance king. <laughs> Ooh, all that for some funny papers. But they are needed. Here we go. Alright. Drawbridge guard says he will take deliveries. So. Bring his juice so our innards may flow freely. So, let's They're my most devoted customer. They're looking pretty good. I'd say almost presentable. As I was saying, let's package up some prunes. A gift suitable for a king. After he eats the prunes, he can sit around reading the funny papers. Oh, forget it. We'll just take it to him. You can see where this is going. Uh, I got a delivery for Sir George. Well, hand it over then. 
a perfectly presentable fruit gift. Now this is more like it. I'll run these right up to him. Sir George, a gift from one of your subjects. Let's see what we have here. I'll be very upset if this is another pile of horse. Even better. Prunes. Mmm, <laughs> mm, so good. <laughs> Sir George, now slow down. Remember what happened last time? Oh no! Too late! Oh, blast! Out of my way! <laughs> I can't touch that eel without proper protection. Even out of water, this eel could chop the scales off me. It just did. All right, well, we've got some wooden tongs. These are ancient. They must be from the Tong Dynasty. Yeah, that's definitely what a real eel looks like. <laughs> it's the back. The front door is an iron bound oak with an armed guard, but the back door isn't even latched. Here be George's wife, same in death as was in life. The entrance to Sir George's royal bathroom. P you, no blue water in there. Your Majesty, I thought you were still ensconced on the porcelain eminence. That is you, isn't it, Sir George? I hope you don't want your armor. We should wait until your stomach settles down. Uh, uh, no! I want my armor now! Does your majesty remember it takes a fortnight to de-rust your armor every time you have one of your little accidents? Very well, let me feel your face. What? It's your own rule, sire. Last year, imposters stole your armor six times. So to verify that it's really you, I must touch your face. I suppose I have no choice. Go on, feel away. Let's see, flared nostrils, dry scaly skin, jagged sharp teeth. Mother, is that you? Son, didn't I warn you you'd go blind? Your voice isn't gravelly enough to be my mother. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this. Wait, that smell would make a buzzard look up from a dead buffalo. It's you all right, Sir George. <laughs> now stay away from those prunes and take this rust be gone, in case you have another accident and your armor seizes up on you again. Hmm. Right. I always thought his face could break mirrors. Hmm. The royal toilet appears occupied by Sir George. <laughs> Fresh rainwater. Sir George must drink it since he certainly doesn't bathe with it. Blighted crops, diseased livestock, and starving residents of Manlandia. Sir George must find this view good for a giggle. It is true. A black cloud does always hang over Castle Grimm. This will take me away from Scum Central. I wouldn't waste my breath. Thank you. Open the door.
Mm. It's Dog the Dog, Sir George's pet peeve. built a new black dragon and installed my dishwasher steam engine in it. Uh, oh no. He seems to be in charge of launching the black dragon. You there! Sir George, are you here to give the word to launch the black dragon too? To what? I mean... Yes! Let's a rip! Yes, sir, but first I need the passcode. Of course you do. I knew that. The rooster crows at midnight. There's sand in my swimming costume. The rains have come early this fall, so wear your good socks. Oh, I get it. <laughs> You're testing me. Gotcha, Chief. Well, apparently that wasn't it. What does this do? There. The gate is securely closed. Where does this go? This stairway goes down somewhere. I should probably investigate. Hmm. Be long now, Princess Flame. Once your father's mystic royal scepter is in my hands, the universe will be mine. Mine! <laughs> You're wasting your breath, you megalomaniac. I make it a point never to listen to other people's psychotic episodes. Foolish creature. Once the Black Dragon 2 is fully operational, your value as a hostage diminishes to around... Let's see, carrier four, um, zero! You will like it in the psycho ward. They have tapioca on tapioca. Okay, I'm actually gonna call it quits for right now. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't save. So I'm just going to have to write this down. And I will see you guys later. This has been Mr. Mysterious J, and you've been watching me play Blazing Dragons. <laughs>